Contagion. Is it worth a buy? What is it? Well, Contagion is a zombie shooter. No, don't go away. Where are you going? Come back, guys. As soon as you mention zombie shooter, everybody, oh, f***, I had enough of zombie shooters. We don't need another zombie shooter. Well, yes, we do. Because you name a good one. Yeah, there's plenty of zombie shooters out there, but name a really good one. There isn't any. War Z. Oh, my goodness, where's the bucket? Absolute cash grab pile of shit. Dear Z. Sprinting zombies. What? If you want to have zombies that sprint, you might as well just make them human. The whole essence of a zombie is that it shambles. George A. Romero knows the deal. He knows what a zombie is. You know, real zombies, because obviously zombies do exist, the real zombies shamble. They don't run. Seems to be. Everybody knows that. So, there's DayZ. You know, plus it's just full of hackers. And the standalone version, well, I've seen them just sprint. You know, that's not... That's, they're not proper zombies. They're not real zombies, guys. And then you've got a whole host of other wannabe mods and bullshit. So... There isn't really good, I mean, Left for Dead, infected zombies, special zombies that hunters, big fat ones that puke I mean, come on, that's just an arcade zombie shooter. This, I'm looking for a real, real zombie game, you know, and, and you know what, Contagion, have a look. It's the closest yet, believe me, it's, the co it's not open world, so let's knock that that one on the head straight away. It's map based, where you go in a lobby, you choose a map, and... Uh, you know, like a browser, there's up to eight players can play in the map. You have a multiplayer set of maps, like there's different game modes, it's like the multi multiplayer modes where you have multiplayer only maps, which are full of zombies, and you have to kill each other, last man standing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then you have the escape maps, which is what you're looking at right now. This one is a police precinct, massive police precinct, and you've got to escape. Now, the good thing is, it changes every game, the, the objectives change. Uh, one game you might have to escape by helicopter, another one I've escaped out of the back parking lot. You come across locked doors where you have to find keys, you have to search everywhere for keys and shit. So you've got to work together. You have to find fire extinguishers because you might find your path blocked by fire extinguishers. Throw a few hundred zombies in the building and you've got yourself a big, big situation. And then just to add insult, take away most of the ammo and have the ammo and weapons very scarce. Then you're really shitting yourself. Turn the lights down a bit and you're screaming like a pussy. And that's what you got here. It's a great bloody experience, guys. It really, really is. Especially if there's just eight of your friends in all on voice comms. Oh, man. It's just a great experience. And to make it even better, when you die, you turn into a freaking zombie and go and rape faces. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, guys. It doesn't get better than that. And the zombies, when you become a zombie, you can shamble along and you press a button and you blend in with a group of other zombies. So your friends who are looking for you because they know that you're the one that's the most powerful zombie because play controlled zombies are always going to be better than NPC controlled ones. They won't know which one's you because you're just part of the shambling pack. And then when you get closer, you just press that key to take control and then you can dash at them and rape the face. Great stuff. Also as well in PvP mode, um, if you get killed by some little 11 year old he was like, going, oh, the pawn, pawned man. I pawned your ass, man. <laughs> you know, you come back as a zombie and kill the You know, I mean, it doesn't get better than that, guys. So, that's a great thing. I mean, No More Room in Hell did a, a similar thing as well. Uh, this uses the the Source engine, uh, as you're probably aware, looking at the actual footage in it. It does still look good. It still looks good. It plays well. It, it is, it's not laggy for me at all. Um, I'm having no problem whatsoever uh, with it. It is a bit bug ridden and it is very limited on the maps. Like I said, you've got your multiplayer maps, you've got your escape map, and then you've got another mode where you are in like a big urban housing estate and there are NPC survivors hidden in, the, in a house somewhere and you use your mobile phone to track them down then when you get to them that starts off waves of zombies coming into the house to try and kill them and what you've got to do is you've got to um, hold out in the house and then try and escape with them after you've defeated the huge wave of zombies you can nail up planks to the windows and stuff like that and again ammo is scarce and it's 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 fun it's fun it's a fun game uh, it is early access it is beta there's a, the, the big problem with this game is that there's hardly any maps for it and, you know, you can get bored. Uh, I've played this for, I think, about 10 hours and I'm pretty bored with it now because, you know, you can only play the same maps over and over again with your friends a few times before it gets a bit monotonous. As I say, this is early access um, and I know for a fact there are more maps on the way. I've actually seen footage of a train map 
so hopefully there'll be two or three new maps coming where with the game on release or shortly after release um, but the, the good thing is that the objectives for each map are continually randomly generated each time you play it so um, you are guaranteed pretty much a, a different experience each time so there is that to keep it going um, so it's got huge potential this game because they have the zombies spot on absolutely spot on really good zombies i mean if you try running through the pack of zombies they'll just grab you they might run slow but if they grab you oh they, you've had it you've had it they'll just rape you and uh no one likes being zombie raped so it's good is it worth a buy well if the devs ran away now and never ever updated it anymore no it isn't 11.99 for what you get is not worth a buy uh 11.99 for the finished game if they put everything in they say they are absolutely oh man it's a bargain not only is it worth a buy it's a we are robbing them guys because 11.99 for this game with more maps and fixed bugs dream come true if you like this genre so that's what you've got to ask yourself do you want to invest 11.99 now while the price is pretty cheap or do you want to wait till next year when it comes out and the price might go up a bit they haven't said it is going up but it might so that's that's what you've got to ask yourself is it worth an investment definitely is it worth a buy if you're just going to play it now and never go back then no i would stay clear but if you were buying this for the future get it because yes it's worth a buy